Meanwhile, Iran has unveiled its first indigenous hypersonic ballistic missile. The announcement is likely to heighten Western concerns about Tehran's strategic capabilities. Iranian state media published pictures of the missile named Fatah. President Ibrahim Raisi was also present at the ceremony along with commanders of Iran's elite Revolutionary Guards Corps. Iran says the precision-guided Fatah hypersonic missile has a range of 1,400 km and it is capable of penetrating all defense shields. Iran claims that Fatah's top speed is 14, Mark 14, that is around 15,000 km per hour. The knowledge of missile making, science and defense, as well as missile and military industries, have been indigenous in our country. It is not an imported technology, so threats cannot remove this advanced knowledge and industry. Hypersonic missiles are the ones that fly at least five times faster than the speed of sound and on a complex trajectory. Both of these capabilities make these missiles difficult to intercept. Now, despite U.S. and European opposition, the Islamic Republic has said that it will further develop its defensive missile program. The Western military experts, meanwhile, feel that Iran exaggerates its missile capabilities. Concerns about Iran's ballistic missiles prompted U.S. President Donald Trump, pardon me, former U.S. President Donald Trump, to ditch Tehran's 2015 nuclear pact with six major powers. Trump reimposed U.S. sanctions on Iran after exiting the nuclear pact, leading Tehran to resume previously banned nuclear work. In direct talks between Tehran and the U.S. President Joe Biden's administration to salvage the nuclear deal have also been stalled since last September.